Well, I think for a, for a few historical and a great occasion as well, too, and I can remember exactly where I was when this happened, when Ireland uh, played England in Crow Park. I can remember that so clearly. It's a monumental thing to think that the GAA, who sort of, whatever you like, were maybe a little bigoted early on when I was a young fella. If you played soccer you, and played rugby, you weren't allowed to play GAA. Here they are being magnanimous, opening up their sitting room, as you call it, for to let in a foreign game, as they were concerned. England playing Ireland, the national anthem, and the way the Irish people behaved, they stood there and silence as God saved the Queen. I mean, like, and we all know what we think of God save the Queen, but at the same time, like, they stood there and listened to it. And then the national anthem came on, and John Hayes, the tears run down his eyes. Now, John Hayes is a big, strong man, and a man that's well used to everything else, and it shook him. I was in the room on my own because Jennifer and Helen went to the match. I had two tickets, but they're rugby people. And uh, I sat at home, and I was actually crying watching it. And I know exactly where I was, and I'll always remember that as well. To me, that was a gigantic occasion. As a moment, I don't think there was anything better. You agree, Eamon? I do agree, yes. And I'm, you have a special connection? Well, um, I agree because it was a moment that transcended sport and there are so many things that sport does that nothing else can do. And on that day, at that moment, I think sport articulated the feelings of ordinary Irish and English people. The Irish people were incredible. They, there wasn't a word. And then the English players stood. And what we were saying was, we don't want to fight. We don't hate you. And they were coming here and they didn't hate us. And sport really reminds us of what we have in common, in our common humanity that transcends flags Soldiers, killings, armies, and hatred. And that moment, as Ted has expressed it, crystallized the wonder and beauty and the innocence of sport. Oh. It's been great to be here.